the third reaction of the day that I'm recording and the only one that I'm on time with, kinda. It was uploaded today, it's the official Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer beta trailer. But, supposedly, from, you know, thumbnails and whatnot, is that they show a little bit of blackout. Very interesting. Let us get right into it. Kablam! Ooh, get early action. August 3rd. Thursday. This Thursday. Oh, that kind of reminds me of ghosts. Whistles. Turn this down just a wee bit. Ooh. Shots. Whoa. What the hell? Ten playable specialists. Ten? That's decent. Six multiplayer maps. That looks very beautiful. That looks cool. Those three maps we already saw from a bunch of YouTubers. Woo! New weapons. New equipment. Bumpy trailers always move so fast. Devastating They've had that in Black Ops 2. RCXD! AC-130 look look alike. Alright. Shot will never happen. <laughs> Better come in September. I only care about the whole blackout thing, honestly. Like this, this whole area. This look beautiful. This map looks almost like a Black Ops Two map. I can't remember what it was called. I like the look of that gun. It's like a can. The dog. He when he whistles for the dog, that reminds me of Ghost because you can whistle for like Riley. Um. A lot of this look beautiful. Those the three new maps that they showed look way better than the three maps that probably everyone has seen from uh you know from the E3 event that you know like T Martin and all these YouTubers played and showed, you know. But that looks really good. I'm just sorry. Sorry. But I gotta go to the thing that I care about the most. <laughs> This is, this was an interesting little logo thing. Who, who do they think they are? Are they Marvel? They think they Marvel? <laughs> think they Marvel? Man, calm down. Okay, I wanna. Okay, God. Okay, so that's that's um. I don't know the the new characters' names. I can't remember. Uh, but dude from Zombies. That's freaking Woods, and he looks amazing. Even though I can't see his face, looks like he has a. Uh. He has in his hand. I was going to say an FA, FAL. But I can't tell. God. Oh, it's dope. That's Turbine from Black Ops 2. It's got to be. Uh, bro, is, yo, is that... um? In the background, it looks like... No, it kind of looks like Hudson. No, now it's looking like... Uh, Cruz, I think his name was, from Black Ops 2. I thought that was Bowman. Yikes. So maybe that is Bowman. No, that looks like the dude from Black Ops 2. He looks way more future to me. And the dude on the right looks like Mason. Oh, bro, I can't. Okay, right here. It's Rick Toffin, two zombie dudes. I don't know. And it looks like a multiplayer dude. Sniping out them. I don't know who they just exploded, but that's Mason. And Mason looks good. Oh my god, and there's... Whoa. Oh, that's Nuketown! Holy crap! Oh, that's just like Nuketown Zombies. That's just like Nuketown Zombies. That's exactly like Nuketown Zombies. I can see the water 
it's an island. That dude was lit 1000% joke. Like, that dude who leaked it, uh, 1000% right. You can see the water. It's definitely an island. Wow. That, that whole thing that he just did right there, probably it's never going to happen. At least in the fashion that he did it. <laughs> okay, wait. There's some little second things. Literally, when I saw Nuketown, I got a... Oh, my God. Okay, shoots it. It's flying through the air to a helicopter it's gonna flash into Verrugged with some zombies with some zombies confirmed looks pretty good whoa what's that is that a knee <laughs> oh it's a dude whoa I think that's ruin I want to say that's ruin is there any more is there any other type see that dude right there looks like uh, I think his name was Cruz or or something the the guy who betrays you in Black Ops 2 the like the guy with the mohawk I think his name was Cruz maybe I'm thinking of a different game but that like this, this whole shot this like now that I look at this shot though it kind of reminds me of Pudgy just a tiny bit just be well, no, not really. It looks better than PUBG. <laughs> um, but uh, my God, ah, uh, just I don't know. It was weird. Like, it's like a scripted scene. Like you know, like Gmod that people do these like Gmod like things, and they put in like they put in like Batman and Iron Man, and they put in like Heavy from Team Fortress Two, and then like. Uh, Venom Snake from Metal Gear Solid 5 and they do like a skit you know what I mean for some reason I f that's what I get this from right here it's like why does it feel like a cutscene like, this feels like gameplay of them running I don't know why he explodes from a sniper shot <laughs> I don't, uh, was there more wait let me see there was actually a little bit more I don't know why when this this dude explodes him. I don't know why he explodes through a sniper shot. Oh god. Oh god, I'm going second by second. Boom. Okay, uh that looks looks like this dude's like jumping off like he's doing like a skydive thing. Which is weird. It's a big overview. I love I as of now, I love that there's multiple biomes from what it looks like. There's multiple biomes. There was like a foresty uh, area right here. This definitely is like a desert type. Then I guess there's water and island, which is Nuketown, I guess. You know, hopefully some snow with uh, the map Summit and WMD, maybe Array. Uh... Redwood, I believe they had a snow version of it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Uh, whoa, what is that? What is this area? This area looks, at least to my knowledge, this looks unique, which is something I want. Is I don't want, I do want like 90%. Like for some reason, I do these percentage things, I realized. Uh, but I want like 90% of the Blackout map be just a bunch of multiplayer maps like even if they're close like um like nuketown the island and it's surrounded by water apparently i want hijacked in that in that lake or that ocean or I, I would i would say i would imagine it'd be like a lake right i want freaking hijacked in that lake and then maybe have fire and range like on the edge of the lake so here's like the I'll do it like this i guess here's the lake here is Nuketown then like maybe like here is hijacked but then right all the way down here on the land is fine range or something like that you know and then there you can, from Nuketown you can look up and there's a mountain an icy mountain way way over there and then you know on top of that is summit and but at the bottom of that is 
you know, but slightly below that is Array, and then below Array is WMD or something like that. You know, like that's just like I don't care that if maps are just so close, and I think they should be kind of close because a lot of these maps are going to be small. Nuketown is small, even though you know it's going to be you know Nuketown, you know, is unique and do its own thing. But like Fire and Rage, it's not that big of a map. You know, if you look at Fortnite or PUBG, I don't know too much about PUBG, so it's I, I can't really explain or talk too too much when it comes to their map because I vaguely I barely know anything. But at least Fortnite, some of the areas, you know, there's some small areas like Tomato Town, uh, which I don't, yeah, you know, that's really tiny. There's Lazy Links, which I think is not really big. It's pretty tiny as well. Uh, which I thought is a dumb idea why they replace... I'm glad they replaced Anarchy Acres because I'm not a huge fan of that farm, but they replaced it with a smaller area, which I thought was stupid. They got rid of the prison, which was fine. Um, but, you know, it, like these maps... Like, there's going to be some good some maps that are pretty big, like Array and Black Ops 1. Is a pretty big map in you know Call of Duty wise. It's a pretty big map. Then you got you know there's a few, you know World of War has a lot of big maps I think, uh, especially air 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 strip or air something. There's a there's a there's a certain map in World of War which is the giant like airfield, and it has Notch Durantonin in it. Like that's where Notch came from was from that multiplayer map. And Varag came from a multiplayer map. You know what I mean? So, like, they could do that. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Varuk map is, like, the Varuk map. But on the outside is the multiplayer map that it was based on. Asylums. I think that's what it was called. Asylums. Or Asylum. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, this dude's jumping. This area looks unique. Like, I, I, <laughs> I didn't finish my statement. I want unique areas in the map. Like, this looks unique. I don't think there's anything been looking like this ever in a freaking Call of Duty game. Like a... This, ooh. I just got like a weird thing in my brain. Um, idea. There's a DLC map in Black Ops... Black Ops 2. Yeah, Black Ops 2. Where it's a... Uh, uh, I think it's Black Ops. It's gotta be Black Ops 2. And it's... um. I can't remember the name, but... You know, it, it's a map. Uh, <laughs> in the middle, there's this, there's like this tunnel system with water, and randomly during the tunnel system, a big gulp, or gulp, big burst of water comes through and washes through, and if you're in it, it pushes you off the map. Maybe this is connected to that area, and this is like a down below. Like I thought, I think that's great if they have a multiplayer map and they expand it. And add more crap, but like inside of this, like this whole area, is there's, uh, there's Savannah. I don't think that's right. I don't even think that's a name. There's Summit. I don't know. I didn't want to use Summit. Cause Summit's so specific. I feel like, um, and probably a map that, in my opinion, should be isolated. Maybe the only thing you open up is that area where the hind bees at. If it, this is all from memory thing and people who play Black Ops 1 so people who play Black Ops 1 will only get and like maybe or remember these maps will probably be like oh yeah I know what you're talking about okay I'm talking to you um but let's get with this uh okay that's the Diego that's his name Diego so Diego just gets shot in the head and like explodes he just literally explodes the body parts. Oh my god. That's... Now that I see that, even though I thought it was hilarious and so random and made no sense, that's honestly something I kind of wanted. More satisfaction with killing people and eliminating them from the game. I always thought, like, headshots from, like, Fallout. When you do a headshot in Fallout and their head just... And they're just, like, body is just dangling and falling backwards... I've always wanted that. I was like, why? Like, as a joke, I always go, I hope Fortnite adds in limbs so I can shoot off a dude's head <laughs> and just you see a big explosion of blood. But, like, this is, like, almost... Yeah, that's almost it. 
God, was shaky cam. Ah, Mason looks so good. Oh, I'm probably... Mason's probably going to be one of the people I rock. If I have to buy Mason, I'm buying Mason day one. But if they have a system where it's like, oh, you got to do these challenges, I am happy for that as well. Um, Jesus, this look good. God, now I'm more... Oh, wait, what's that one? Was that the Varuct one? I think that was a new one. Oh, you know what? That look... Now that I noticed, that's not the dude Cruz from Black Ops 2. That's Ruin. Forgot Ruin has a freaking mohawk. That gun looks familiar. Kind of looks like, eh, maybe not. Kind of looked like, I don't remember the name. A certain gun from Black Ops 3 LMG. I wanted to say the LSAT, but that's that's Black Ops 2, I think. Now I'm just getting everything mixed up. Uh, what happened to that scene? Oh, there he goes. Ooh. Whoa. What the hell? What is that? Is this a unique spot? Because I don't remember no tunnel. Who is that? It's Nikolai, and I'm guessing that's a Black Ops 4 character. That's a... Uh... Damn, I think I think that might be Nomad. And then Rick Toffin... Uh, it's Rick Tuffer and Dempsey dead on the floor. And then there's a dude at the end of the hallway dead. This thing looks so unique. I'm like... No. I'm glad that they're they're showing these little like... Because this, this thing looks unique. This looks like a unique area. I don't... At least... If anyone... If anyone watches this... <laughs> uh, if this is from a multiplayer map, let me know. Because this doesn't look familiar to me. For some reason, it's making me think of the Metal Gear Solid 2 area, where, like, Snake gives you the sword. I don't know why, but I feel like it's <laughs> that's making me think of that hallway. But it's not. It's completely different. and Different game, of course. And then here's a Nuketown scene. With... I want to say that is Takio. Probably Afterburn. Or... Whatever that dude's name was. I don't know. That guy. Woo! God damn! I... didn't even watch anything of the normal multiplayer part. I'm just watching this. I gotta... This is what I'm gonna do. As a send-off, I'm gonna play this one more time. Because this was amazing. Explosion! Actually, I think I just saw his body. See, that was the scene. Actually, wait. Wait. I saw a boat. Boom! What a perfect freaking clickback. Holy crap. <laughs> um, What is that? Oh, that's... Fr oh, that's uh, cargo from Black Ops 2. That's cargo. I, I remember the little weird top thing. And there's a boat there now. Was there always a boat there? I don't think there was ever a boat there. That looks like a boat to the right. Dude, manning this boat looks like a Black Ops 2 character. Like the normal skin from Black Ops 2. I like that. I was going to make a whole other video kind of almost talking about like skins. Like what they could do with skins. That's awesome. But there's like a boat right there. No. I hope they... Well, I mean, it actually would be kind of cool. It looks so different. Like, that doesn't look like... That looks like an open... Like, that looks like a cargo where all the cargo is gone. But it's hard to see. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't even know if, like, that land is, like, the beginning. Or that boat is the beginning. What if that boat is hijacked? And hijack and cargo are, like, intertwined? Bro! The only... The only thing, in my opinion... Or maybe not the only thing, but one. Well, yeah, no, yes. The only thing that Treyarch and Call of Duty and Blackout has that no other ba bla 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 battle royale game has yet. Maybe Red. Nah, barely. If Red Dead does, hopefully it does, but it'll probably just be its normal map. I would imagine. Um, maybe 
Battlefield is the only other game, or if Halo ever does one, or Gears of War, which was rumored to reveal at E3, which never happened. Uh, they have history. Their their locations, maps, people love. I loved Cargo. Cargo is a great map, in my opinion. I went off on that map a few times. Just a few. Just a few. You know, like Nuketown is such a legendary map. You know what I mean? God, I just... think this will be this is the uh, just to be like hopefully they start in a plane you know or, or a spaceship i'm cool with it being a spaceship <laughs> or an asteroid or whatever and i'm just flying in and i go hey where you want to go uh let's go to newtown yeah and no nah, let's not go to newtown let's go to uh summit oh no nah, no nah. let's go to uh Keep saying the same goddamn maps. I'm trying to think of a new map. Uh, let's go to. I can't think of a map. I'm trying to think Black Ops 2. Let's go to. Uh, Turbine. Even though a lot of people probably hated Turbine. Um, I can't think of any maps. I just can't think of them spot at the moment. But just the idea of being like, let's go to this map. Like, uh, this is more for me. Not so much with Malik. Maybe Noah. If you anyone who watches my streams, which is zero, <coughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, they, I probably have more, way more history than them in Call of Duty. I know that at least for Malik, way more history with them. My cousin Noah probably has a, ooh, probably has more than Malik, but not as much. Um, I have all the history, <laughs> so it's like, oh, let's go to jungle. Let's go to jungle. Let's go to firing range. Let's go to cliffside. Let's go to asylum. Let's go to Varag. Let's go to Green Run, aka the transit map. <laughs> I hope that map's in the game. I truly hope that map is in the game. That would I think that would be a great idea. Uh, oh my god. Bah! Blackout. Beta coming September. So this is beta. Huh. Beta coming September. It didn't say private. Private beta coming September. Maybe Blackout is completely open. Game theory right here. Let me know what you guys thought of the blackout. Just, just the, just the blackout part. I don't care about the multiplayer part. We already know what multiplayer is from all the freaking YouTubers that saw it at E3. It's basically gonna be that. The only thing we don't know is like perks and yada yada yada. Who else was hyped here before one million views? Same. Damn. Why is it so low? <laughs> Why is it so low? Uh, let me know what you think of Blackout. Your opinion, your thoughts about it. I'm, I am now truly hyped and excited. Mainly because this is going to be the first legit AAA Battle Royale game. Fortnite was kind of there. You know, Epic Games has a lot of history, but you know, it just kind of came out and then slowly got big. This has a lot of hype and it's a day one thing. So it's like, you know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe leave a like. Don't have an outro. <laughs>